I just noticed like he, his back was burned. You can see all the burnt mark. Three people dead, two more injured, and one man in custody after a fire rips through a Temple City home. Firefighters racing to keep children safe from the flames. Well, witnesses tell our Jeff Nguyen the aftermath was unlike anything they'd ever seen before. Oh my God, have you guys seen that? Cell phone video captured the intense smoke and flames shooting out of this Temple City home. I felt the heat. Andy Nguyen recorded the images Sunday around 4.30 p.m. The window exploded at one point. Oh, there's someone inside. Somebody's inside. Kevin Kwan also recorded video of sheriff's deputies scrambling to help before fire crews arrived. One of the guys told me there's a woman inside, so we told the police officer, and he went back, right back in but the fire was too big. At one point, there were children running to safety. One man could be seen limping out with help from deputies. I just noticed like he, his back was burned. You can see all the burnt mark. The LA County Sheriff's Department says two people suffered critical injuries. Quan was there when the second injured man got out. Half of his face was, was burned. And then I think on his body, there's uh, some burn area. Kwan says he helped deputies with translation because people at the home only spoke Mandarin. Investigators say the property has four structures. Three people were found dead inside the front home. Deputies say at least half a dozen people lived there. No one in the back units was hurt. For Andy Nguyen, it was hard to see the injured men come out of here. As an ER tech in the back in, in the past, um, but this was like on a different level I've seen. Detectives say 64-year-old Shang Huan Zhang has been booked on three counts of murder after he flagged down a deputy and took responsibility for the fire. They say he's a roommate of the victims. For now, investigators are not revealing the motive. In the meantime, Zhang is being held on $2 million bail. He's expected to appear before a judge in Alhambra on Wednesday. In Temple City, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.